Yo, yo. Oh, I was finna do the intro, bro. You was going to the little- <laughs> See how he be stepping on my shit? My bad, like, bro. let me do my intro. It's over 25 girls in my <laughs> section. Let's make a movie tonight. You don't regret. For real. What? Hey, let me ask y'all this, man. What, what kind of intro that is, bro? <laughs> hey, y'all. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> So 39. I'm just playing. I'm playing, y'all. I'm skipping. Nah, bro, I'm it's 38. With it. See how see? <laughs> Keep it on his toes. <laughs> Welcome to the Thoughts on Lacey podcast. I am your host, Ransom. This is your other host, Ken. We are here for the day. 38 weeks straight, episode 38, right here in the flesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Damn, bro. Got me an orange. Bye. Make sure you get you some citrus in you your system. Get some citrus in there. This nigga finna eat an orange on the paw. Ain't nothing wrong with getting it. Smacking and shit all in the microphone. Ain't nobody finna smack in the microphone. Oh. Um, we got two more episodes for this first season is over with. Yes, man. sir. For episode 40, last episode of season one, man. Yeah. It's been a real long journey. We didn't learn a lot, did a lot. That's what I think we should do for episode 40. Yeah. We shouldn't come up with no topics. We should just come on here and just talk and like reflect on everything that we did, bro. Yeah, that'll be dope. That'll be dope. But I that'd still want to throw a couple. Yeah, of we could throw some little for the old time's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, like what I mean. For sure, for sure. Um, Bro, it's best been hectic this week, dog. Like, man, it's been a lot it's been of like crazy. nonstop. Yeah, bro. shit just been going on, man. Like, just been happening, bro. Like with music, with life, life in general. It's just been crazy this week, man. I just paid for my cap and gown. Oh Your yeah, boy just graduated. I'm just playing. What I day go, y'all walking? I walk May fifteenth. So you done with school? Yep. You officially done? No yep. more class? Yep. Are you sure? I go back next week to take my last um couple of tests because I did all my class work. Yeah. After that, I'm not in that bit no more. Uh-oh. So next week, check him after out. After like maybe third, after maybe like Wednesday, check him out. I'm finished, bro. Bet, bet, bet. Oh my god. What? What they now? This bitch ain't good, y'all. Hold up. Let Hold me try up. it again. It might not be. Hold up. They've been up there. <laughs> They've been up oh. there for a couple of oh, days. God, my bad, bro. <laughs> Look, they've been up there for a couple of days, bro. They might have been up there for about a week, bro. I'm going to finish it, y'all. I'm a soldier. Nah, bro. Throw it away, bro. You ain't got to finish it. <laughs> what a trash hat, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Just put it right there. All right, fam. This man, bro. <laughs> Just look at him, man. Damn. Ain't nobody tell him to get it though. Trying to be healthy, get some citrus. I low key was for the throw them away though. So why didn't you? Why you see? Him? See how he he devious. He no, said that let no. me pick it up out the bag. Because I was gonna throw them away. Cause I was like, damn, I ain't really eating them. So I seen you grab them. Like okay, but now that you say they nasty, yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna throw them all the way. Of bro. course, they going down the drain. But um, it's been a crazy week, man. Uh, if you ain't living under the rock, you already know all this dissing and shit in the music. Yeah, man. A lot of shit been just man. Music industry been all over the place right now. It's low key fucked up because like we low key like looking over the music that we're actually getting that we getting and like trying to pick size and shit like that. And instead of drawing the music, enjoying the music, I like a good disc record. Have you been seeing the memes about what Captain America Civil War? They be having Drake yeah, on one side, Future, and on, Future the other on the other side, side. side. yeah, and all the rest of the niggas. Crazy. Drake and Future is beefing, which we thought we would never, never see. see. And what happened to shit, What a Time to Be Alive too? This shit is crazy, bro. This shit is all the way crazy. We got Kendrick in the mix. Cole doing what he did. We got... Y'all know how I feel. This has been... They actually don't know how I feel about it. It's low-key been stressful, bro. Yeah. Like with the... Bryson just dropped. Bryson dropped. Party dropped next week. Party dropped next week. And it's like... I'm not going to lie, bro. That album that Future just dropped. Is one of his best albums, man. And That's, people overlooking this shit because of the diss. They they looking for a diss in the in the record. I'm being instead honest, of just appreciating the music. This shit that album right there is my album of the year, not the first one. Yeah, it's I better than the first. It's one. better than the first one. I had the first one as like album of the year, but nah, that whole better than the first one, bro. 
it's like a different level of like quality almost. Yeah, bro. Like after hearing that, that just showed me that even the first album was high quality. That one was nothing compared to the second one. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like the quality of that second one was even higher, and I'm just like, how could they do that? Like how could they top it even after they made the first? Like he really got in that R&B bag, and he showed he can do both. Yeah, he really showed he could do both with that. Still album. don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that song. Yeah, man. I don't like that song. Bro. It ain't the vibe for me. But nah, man, all week, bro. Other than just chilling, and we on spring break, so next week I won't be at school because I'm done anyway. But everybody is on spring break as of right now. Everybody that's getting out of college for spring break, make sure y'all boys be safe out there on them beaches. People getting washed up. I feel, you feel me? I done seen a couple stories recently, man. People getting, you know. Getting what? Like abducted. Abducted, bro? No cap. Like, I done seen it. And I'm like, dang, bro, I hope these people out here being precautious, being safe. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You mean alien abducted, bro? What the fuck you talking about, bro? <laughs> you said abducted, bro. I'm trying to get I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. I haven't heard nothing like that, bro. What, 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 what you talking about? Speak on it, bro. Take your fat ass tin for your cap <laughs> off your head, bro. What would I be talking about aliens, bro? The nigga said it so calmly, bro. Abducted. Like to kidnapped. Tooken. Okay. It's the same thing. I would rather you say kidnapped, bro. This nigga, bro, I, would I swear you say to God, kidnapped, bro, bro, this man retarded, bro. I'm sorry. I but was, but assuming. I seen, it ain't been a lot of people, like 20 of them. Yeah. But I done seen maybe like two people going missing so far. Going missing. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro. How you know it ain't aliens? Why the f Dre? Why would it be aliens, bro? Just saying. Come on, fam. I'm just saying, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, why you would only they think of aliens because I said abducted? If I would have said kidnapped, <laughs> you wouldn't have said nothing about no damn aliens. But why bro. you say abducted though? Cause you could have just said kidnapped. That's bro. what the headline said. I know, but it's like when you see abducted, bro. You, you think, no, you don't, bro. Only your ass think of that because you a damn idiot. <laughs> <laughs> only this man think of oh, abduction must be aliens. Must be, bro. Must be Thanos. No, bro. No, fam. No, bro. This man funny as hell, bro. Look, Besides that, man. What be we, safe out there, be though. Be safe, yeah, really, bro, be, because people getting messed up out there. It's going to be a lot of people down in Miami, Orlando. Mm -hmm. Flo Florida in general is like the spring break mm -hmm. palace for some reason. Yeah, so, yeah. Y'all have I mean, fun. Miami bro. and shit like that. Panama, yeah. City. Panama Orlando um, out there. Crazy. Destin, Florida even Destin, out there. That's two yeah, hours from that's us. That's two hours from us. Even Destin going crazy. Yeah, so, so hey. be careful out this motherfucker, man. But make real. sure to have fun, man. Um, we had a lot of we had me and him did something yesterday. He went to my sister yeah. baby shower. Sister man. baby shower, man. That's so crazy to think about. My younger sister. Yeah, my so, younger sister as well. Check him out, man. Uh, but it's crazy, man, to see that you you know I ain't got no kids. If y'all was wondering, I don't have no kids. Um, got something to tell y'all later though. Yeah, next couple up a couple months. What you talking about? What you mean? What you talking about? Hold up, hold up. What you talking about? He's, I say you got something to tell y'all in up and coming months. Me? You. What I got to tell? You f you having a kid? Nigga, stop I playing with me. clothing on there like that. Bro, stop playing with me, bro. You can edit it out. If stop does. playing with me, bro. This bad. Look, there niggas be trying to force niggas to have. Ain't things. nobody forcing you to have no damn kid, bro. I done heard. Look, how y'all feel about y'all family always coming up to y'all saying, if you, if you got a girl or you got a dude and you bring them around uh, the family. Kids. Yeah, I'm talking about, look, the first time I'm bringing them around, I'm bringing my girl around the family. Oh, oh, y'all so cute together. When y'all gonna have some kids or when y'all gonna Why do is this? that the first thought, It's like, though. God damn, bro. Why is that the first thought, honestly? Why is that's, always that the first I really want to ask the family, like, what's going on, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, think I mean, it, nah, what I, I understand what's going what on. What I really think it is because everybody has them and you the only one that don't got none. Yeah. You are literally the only one. And Shan, mm -hmm. Shan, you and Shan. But who, I mean, look, I don't take it as no way. I don't take yeah. it. I don't take offense yeah. to it or nothing like that. I just think they just want to see it. I just think they want to see it more than I want to have it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm not the only I'm not the only person in the world that that bring your girl around the family. And, they be, and they everybody like, understand where you coming from. Everybody right gotta now. understand it, bro. Yeah. Your family gonna be look when you bring when you have a new girl <laughs> or you have a new man. Your family gonna be the first one. I know y'all. When y'all the wedding? When the wedding? Oh my goodness, man! <laughs> I met this girl six months ago. I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> For real though, but. But it's nah. be like I, I, I think it's funny though. I think it's man, funny. I ain't never brought a girl around the family. Bro. I think it's cool though. That never happened to me. Well, I'm young anyway. That wouldn't happen to me. But yeah. I still, I never, I never brought a girl around. 
All right, at be this, prepared when you do though. At this time, my brother, all my sisters, they didn't already had they they people, you know. But me, I didn't. Bring, I haven't brought anybody around yet, so I don't know what any of that even feel. I don't even know what it feel like to bring them around. So yeah, yeah. So we was at the baby shower last night, man. I got eats. there super late. Good eats. Low key, I went there for that food, man. I hope you ain't smoke all the pasta salad. I hope it's still some in the fridge. I still got some pasta salad. Speaking of that, bro, right? It made me bring up a, a, a new topic. Here we go. I bet it's called this or that. Look, bro. Ain't it? What's the best? Like, okay, for example, you got baby showers, you got birthday parties, yeah. you got gatherings, you got family. Um, gender reveals. Gender reveals and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. What's the best party food? Meatballs, Rotel dip, <laughs> or them deviled eggs? <laughs> Which one is you picking okay, out look, of them three? I'm finna rank them. Can no, I rank them? You can rank them. You can rank them. Okay, I'll bitch. let you rank them, but you still got to I pick. still got to pick. Yeah. As far as the best, is hands down meatballs. Oh! No. Meat, hold on, wait, bro. <laughs> wait, bro. Just wait. Meatballs is at the top, bro. If you don't pick meatballs at the top, you will fuck, nigga. <laughs> bro, and let me tell you something. Rotel is second. Oh my Let god. Let me tell you why bro. devil legs are last. Bro, you can't bro look look look. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. up. Let me explain. I love devil legs just as much as the next nigga. But as you can tell, we just had a baby shower yesterday and didn't even have devil legs. And nobody asked about them. Nobody was like, damn, where the devil legs? We didn't have a rotel dip. Nobody asked about it. Because you wanna know why? We had them damn meatballs. Listen. Meatballs bro. literally cancels out both of them. But I've had nasty double eggs. I never had nasty rotel or nasty. Meatballs. Bro, I've had nasty rotel dip. I've never had it. Look, bro. Every rotel I've ever had. Low was key, fire. bro. Everyone. Low key. I don't know how y'all make y'all devil eggs or you who gotta make put y'all, the pep prick on Whoever them. make they devil eggs. But I'm saying the ones that I've had over the years. Yeah, them hoes be great. They gotta go at least number two you if they not number the, one. You know who really got the best devil eggs? Who? Trees. Yeah, she do. Shout out to Trees. She has <laughs> the best devil eggs I ever ate. Bro. Exactly. Them hoes would be so great. I don't know saying. what she put in them. I feel like depending on who make them, devil eggs can go hand in hand with the meatball. See, that's why I just said because you got it because it's literally dependent. Because I done had you. Have you ever in your life had a nasty meatball? No matter who made meatballs, <laughs> them hoes is always top of the food chain. Yeah. But with devil eggs, it varies because some niggas don't make them right, bro. Yeah. If, look, if I go to my look, if I, I feel go, like that's your argument. Though. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you right now. If I go to a gathering and, a, and you got devil eggs and I don't see red paprika at the top, you did. Something let me ask wrong. you this though: you did something wrong, and nigga, I'm not eating. <laughs> but let me ask you this though: your best meatball versus your best devil egg that you ever had. Okay, which one is better? That's what I'm asking. I'm, see, that's bro, hard. That's what I'm see? saying. But dude, look, the, the devil but eggs. You, you saying you. it from you saying it from a general point. I'm yeah. saying it from like the best, the best ones you the best, the best. Okay, bet. The best devil eggs versus the best rotel versus the best meatball. Which one coming first? If I'm being honest, the best rotel coming first. On because rotel is just great as shit. You low key but, right though. But what? But see, I'm thinking we talking about like you know. Not how just I'll talk about it the first time. I'm talking about your actual flavor palette. What you okay, ate babe. and what you can. You know, well, out of my favorite meatball, still my number one. And then what? And then Rotel, bro. Oh, it's still the it's same. It's still the same because, but see, like I said, now if we, now if Trees make the devil eggs, bro, why you keep saying if? I'm saying she did make them. Okay, they're the best. So it's over the meatball and Rotel. Yeah. If she makes, that's em. what I'm saying. But guess what? <laughs> guess what though? Yeah. Not everybody make them like that. So it, like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Like I just said, if from a general standpoint, everybody make meatballs, mm -hmm. and every meatball I ever had was top of the tier. Yeah. But I've had devil eggs where I was like, what the hell is this? Yeah. And I've had some that was like, this is great. Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, devil eggs varies. So yeah. you cannot say it's the best because it's only good if somebody make them right. Uh -huh. So it's automatically not the best because uh -huh. of that one factor. Okay. Now, if somebody make them the best they can make them, like Treese, mm -hmm. then them hoes probably better than everything <laughs> at the party. But if she's not making them or somebody else that's not as highly qualified to make them, them hoes not better than meatballs mm -hmm. and they're not better than Rotel. Because I done had some Rotel that's Th Is that a cheesy. fair argument to say? That's a fair argument. And that, I get what you're saying, That's too, a fair I've, argument. I've had that, too. I've had Rotel that's too cheesy. Yeah. And they and feel like, like just eating queso or some shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and it ain't, it, ain't a good, it ain't a good combination of meat and cheese. So yeah. it's... um Now, Kiki, the sister that just sister. had a baby oh, yeah, yeah, with she, a baby shower... She throw down with some rotel. Yeah, she and I was mad that she didn't have it. I'm like, bro, where the rotel at? Bro, I got left. I got that late. I ain't even get wings. I got two wings, bro. But the wings will fire, bro. I know they was because I had fire. two of them. Yeah, we will fire, bro. <laughs> bro I, I was like, damn, I, I came too late. Whole fire. 
Them hoes good. Pasta salad was fire too. Pasta, the sandwiches were good. The, them the finger all, sandwiches. The finger bro. sandwiches is underrated. I had eight of them in the in the fridge. They gone. Eight of them. I had eight of them. They gone. <laughs> Did Mary get some? Yeah, she got. Oh, some. I was about to say. Don't tell me you ate all eight of them hoes. Joints gone, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Finger sandwiches is one thousand percent underrated, bro. But look though, <laughs> if we judging off general spec, if we judging off general spectrum, I think meatball is number one. Yeah, and nothing's topping it. But if you want to say, if you thinking a specific about person, specific person making it. Yeah, I would say devil eggs. Then, then meat, I would say rotel. rotel. Yeah, then, rotel. then meatballs. Yeah, it, yeah, facts. Yeah. I would say it like that. Yeah, but if we just talking about general, bro. It, oh yeah, we going to this party. Everything, every time we all be like, bro, who got the meatball? Where the meatball? Where the meatballs? Where the meatballs at? That's the first thing we ask. We know they ain't gonna be nasty. Exactly. That's why you we know that it's I like that. it's like they good. You can't fuck it up. It's like they at the top of the line and they consistent. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I've never had a nigga that made nasty meatballs, <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's my argument. That's yeah. why I say it's the best one, bro. Okay, because once they, it's like you made the top and then you just consistently stayed there. Yeah. It ain't like I had them. I'm like, whoa, them whole were kind of nasty. Yeah. You made it to the top and you consistently stayed there from every time I've had them from different people. Okay, bet. I probably had meatballs from at least like 25 different people, 30 people in my whole life. They still, and it was great every single time. Yeah. Rotel, on the other hand, can't say the same. Mm -hmm. Devil eggs can't say the same. So that's why they number one. Bro. Okay, bet. Good Tight argument, shit. man. I see, I see Tight where you, I see where you coming from. Tight shit. That's that's fair though. But Devil is good as fuck. That's fair though. Trees, if you make them, she should have made them joints yesterday. Yep. Them hoes would have been gone with then though. I ain't gonna lie, cause I would have had like twelve of them. Bro, I be busting down them Devil Dead. I'm sorry. For bro. sure. If I'm they, telling you, if they made right. I'm I'm telling they you, if I, down. bro. If I see you put with the Devil Dead, bacon Ed. bits on the joint. Yes, bro. She got the paprika at the top, the bacon bits on that. If joint. I see, bro, if I see you. With devil is, and you don't got paprika at the top, something is wrong with you. I just said it. <laughs> if I don't see the red sprinkles, nigga, you didn't make them right. Yeah. I don't care what you put in them. You didn't do it right. Because that's supposed to be on that, bro. Yeah. I ain't trying to hear it. Bro. Maybe that's just a southern thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that should be making it so much better, the Robbie, paprika. Bro. And she got the bacon bits on there. I throw back by three, four of them over before I even know it. Yes, I'll just eat them. I'll just be like, damn, I'd have ate all the devil is. I'm like, tripping, guy. I'm eating too many eggs. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about too many. But yeah, that was a good. I just wanted to see your perspective, bro. Yeah, for sure. I definitely feel what you're saying because that's a good argument. Mm -hmm. What's the best party food? Yeah. And then we honestly, we didn't even say wings. We didn't even say chicken because I. But bro, wings don't really count. The reason though, why I didn't say wings is because you can have wings at everything. It's like yeah, it's like um, yeah. certain places you only get the meatballs. You don't get the meatballs yeah. at the cookout. I feel what you're saying. You know what I'm saying, but you get chicken wings at the cookout. Okay, bet I can't. You're right. You're definitely. He's yeah. definitely right. <clears throat> so look, I want to kind of steer the steer the ship all the way left. Okay. So my topic. Okay, bet. So, <laughs> why did you just say that like that? Okay, bet. But look, though. Do it. Listen, y'all. So, look. Let's just say you meet a shorty or you meet a man. Yeah. Let me know, do that. You meet a woman or you meet a man, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? And y'all rocking with each other, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. My question to you is Would you, re in this relationship that you with, yeah. with this woman, would you rather be sexually intelligent that means you know everything about smashing mm -hmm. like you great in bed you a good like the woman and nigga yeah. like like if you a woman you great in bed but if you're a man you great in bed you get what i'm saying yeah. or would you rather be no my bad i said it wrong would you rather be sexually intelligent but not emotionally intelligent mm -hmm. in a relationship or would you rather be emotionally intelligent but like not sexually intelligent at all. So like, <laughs> like when it comes to the sex part and the physical part, you completely like. Mm -hmm. Other than kissing, bro, you like completely don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. But but when it comes to fixing the problems or communication and all that, you like perfectly at the shit. Yeah. But when it comes to smashing, mm -hmm. you you not good at it at all. So you saying would I rather be sexually intelligent, like extremely great at it? But not really good at the emotional side of a relationship, uh -huh. or would you rather be the great at the emotional side and terrible at the sexual side Ooh. of the relationship? That's a hard. That's if, a that's a hard one. But see, look though. Real. Okay, look. It all stems down to what type of person you is. Yeah. So <laughs> so for example, right? Yeah. Because look, it's almost like you can learn either way, right? Yeah, like once you but, once you pick a side, you can also learn the other side, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you can. Okay, but think about it: is how long is it gonna take you to learn that for that girl or that man to decide, bro? This ain't working. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> you, like for example, right? Yeah, this is this is how I would look at it. Mm -hmm. 
I would 1,000% pick emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. If I'm emotionally intelligent, that means I'm a real nigga. Mm -hmm. I basically got the same mind that I have now. Mm -hmm. I just don't know nothing about sex. Mm -hmm. I feel like a girl, if you meet that right one, because this is the right one. For yeah, you. yeah, yeah. If you meet that right one, I feel like she would be patient enough with you because you such a real nigga yeah. that she would be patient enough with you to be like, you know what? Let's just try. Let's just try different things. Let's just figure it out. True. You get what I'm saying? True. But if you a fuck nigga and you just got good, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you lame, you ain't got no type of patience for her. You ain't got no, you don't care about her for real because mm -hmm. you ain't got no emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. You just want to smash. I low-key feel like she going to leave your ass. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. It, uh, it also comes down to, like you say, what type of nigga you want to be? Is yeah. you do is you the dude that want to be in a serious relationship, or is you the dude that just want to fuck around? Depending right. on who you is, you're, right. you're gonna pick sexual attention. Cause a dude that's you know good in the bedroom or whatever don't necessarily give a damn about how she feels <laughs> if he don't want to yeah, be that anyway. Don't wanna, yeah, you're right. So I feel like <clears throat> for me, with mine, I'm probably gonna pick emotional attention too, just yeah. because I might. You know what I'm saying? Like wanna, imagine, imagine you meet the the girl, mm -hmm. and you be like. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, she get naked and everything. You just like, bro, I don't know what I'm doing. I low-key feel like... You, th you like... I feel like you can pull it off, though. Because that's of what the, I'm saying. I was just about to say that. I f exactly. Yeah. Right, I feel bro. like you can pull it. You can get a little leeway. She might try to help you. Yeah. Because you're such a real nigga. And if you, but if, if you a fuck nigga, and if you just smash her, then you're going to have a crazy over you. Also, and you hurting this girl. Feel also, it. if it's a woman... If it's a woman on the other hand, yeah. If a woman don't know what she's doing in the bedroom, but she's emotionally intelligent, I feel like a man, man would have would way have, more yeah. patience with her. He would have way more patience with her, bro. And he'll be able to teach her yeah, shit. Yeah, he would definitely do that. I feel like if you a woman, it's easy. Just pick that emotional intelligence. Facts. Just because you can literally like You can get you can eat your cake and get it too. Yeah. Damn, I said it wrong. Yeah, I mean you can uh what did it say? Get, get your, your cake, cake and, and eat it too, too or yeah, some yeah. shit like that. But it's you like you can literally get both sides of the coin. Both sides of the I'm coin. I'm over there bit, I might get laughed at. I'm taking a risk. You taking a risk? You I taking a get, risk? <laughs> I might get laughed at because I don't know nothing about you. Yeah. I just know how to kiss you. That's it. Yeah. You I don't know how to taking a risk. do nothing else. You're taking right. a risk, bro. But I feel like after a while, you'll find the one that's going to <laughs> come help you, bro. But it's like, bro. I feel like that one will help me, though, because I'm real nigga. Yeah, it goes. Being like, real and kind goes a long way. I feel like you got a lot of. I feel like you got a good chance to build something good. With that. Yeah, low because key. it's like low key is like you innocent in in a sense. You like yeah. you, you like pure. Fact. You like pure as shit. Yeah, yeah. you right. So it's like you right. Y'all can grow a little bit deeper, mm -hmm. but it would also be like damn. Because if you think about it on a deeper level, she might be like damn, he good, but he don't know how to do this. Yeah, man. but if you think about it on a deep in a deeper level, she she saying she have to like for example in a relationship, y'all both teach each other stuff. Yeah, right. But her having to teach you how to sex, it might be like um, I don't know how to say it. It might. But but, but shit, still you're though, still teaching her shit. Though. Yeah, you still teaching her of the emotional yeah, side. You yeah. still able to give her knowledge. So I feel like yeah. it's just like I, it's like a trade. Yeah, I feel like it's a trade off. Shit, I mean, I can't really do nothing in bed. You can't. You don't really know how to be emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. But I'm sitting here. I'm giving you game. I'm teaching you this. I'm being patient with you. Teaching you patience. I low key feel like that. it'll work. I feel like that'll work better. I feel like if it'll you work. pick sexual nigga, something is wrong with you. Nah, if you pick sexual nigga, you just want to have sex. But I mean, <laughs> damn, that's fucked up though. You don't think that's fucked up to just want to fuck? But you got to look at it. That's more reality than the other one. I mean, you're right. You're right. Like, that's what we on right now. That's what niggas on right now. You're right, bro. It's more It's more sex and less emotion right now. More less and sex is all a nigga need. Yeah. Back when he was great. <laughs> Drake. Back when he was great. This man, he, he, he on Drake Nick, bro. But nah, fam. And, and I feel like niggas think I be hating on him, but I really don't. I just, I be upset because you could do better than this, bro. He just dropped it, though. He did. He just we, dropped and it. We're going to talk about that. But mm -hmm. as a final answer, you would pick sexually, I mean, you would pick emotional intelligence with no type of sex experience, or would you pick yeah, I good think. sex experience with no emotional intelligence? Bro, I'm, man. Because think about it. It might work for you, too. Because what if you a nigga that just know how to, like, think about it. What if look, you though. Dude, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What if you a dude that want to be in a relationship, mm -hmm. but don't know how to be in one, but you good at, like, Sex. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you good at sex, it the can girl work can probably teach way. you. It the can work either you. way though. Yeah, I low you key me? not, bro. I low key might pick sex. I wouldn't do that though. I'm saying, I'm saying low key because it's like it's vice versa. It's yeah. really the same yeah. thing. Like yeah. if you got a girl, 
she might be able to like you don't know emotional intelligence, mm-hmm. right? But you, like you say, you can learn the shit. Yeah. And you already good in the bedroom. So once you learn, you straight. Because look, you got to look at it like this, right? Um, If you got the emotional intelligence, right? Yeah. But you learn the sex from her. You can only be as good as whatever she teach you. Yeah. But if you already super good in that area, you can learn the emotional intelligence mm-hmm. and be the best of both worlds. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. With the sex, it'll be like just as much as she knows. Yeah. Because she don't want to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. But at the same time, she teaching you how to please her. So it's exactly, like, it's so, like I don't yeah. know, bro. It's kind of like an iffy, bro. Just like this. Think about it. It's Which one gonna take longer for a nigga to learn? Emotionally, no, 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 no. no. Emotion, sex, sex no. Is gonna take longer. No, it's not. Yeah, because I don't think you so. got a trial and error with that. The emotional intelligence, like uh, the emotional intelligence, that means you trying to get out of the way that you already in. You gotta learn this shit. With sex, I feel like after maybe like three, four times, I can be, I can get it. You can, yeah, you can get it. You can get the gist of it, and then you can just start repeatedly getting it right. Mm. That first time might be trash because you don't know shit. So what you saying? You picking emotional, right? I'm still gonna pick emotional. Yeah, I just feel like because you gotta think about it. We talking realistically here. What woman or nigga is how long they got to put up with the shit before they feel like, bro, this ain't gonna work. Mm-hmm. So it's like you need to figure out which one would be better for you to learn because. If you was like, for example, if you got good sex, but you ain't got good emotional intelligence. So you saying they might just look at you like, damn, he just want to fuck. And -hmm. then you just lost a girl because Mm -hmm. you don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Even though she tried to help you, it's like it's going to take a long time for you to get in the new way that you trying to learn. Yeah, yeah. But with sex, I feel like if you can, bro, you can learn sex. Everybody was a virgin at one point. Yeah. So after smashing maybe three times, nigga, you done got straight at it. So now you straight. (laughs) You feel what I'm saying? I feel like. And then not only just fucking, it's like you doing other shit too. Mm. So it's like I feel like sex can be learned way faster, faster than, the than emotional intelligence. So which pick, is why I would pick, pick the emotional intelligence. intelligence. Okay, that's, I just have to learn the sex later down. That's, that's, a, that's a good perspective. Because shit, you can still have a good relationship without sex. That's a good. That's a good perspective. You know what I'm saying? I fought with that perspective. Yeah, that was a good question too. It came out of nowhere. That's but just how I was thinking, man. Like you say, I ain't gonna just bash a nigga. If he yeah, if he sex. if he picked the because sex. it's low key. You give and take on both ends. Yeah, you're right. It's like, you're so right. it's like, bro, if a nigga just feel like, because <laughs> I ain't going to get into all the deep shit, but yeah. I just feel like some niggas might pick that. The some sex some men might pick the sex thing first just so they can have that out the way. At least they can be like, oh, I'm good at sex, you know? Mm-hmm. So they might pick that out the way. Like, because you got to look at it like this, like 80, 80% shit. I ain't gonna say eighty percent because I really don't know, but it's a majority of men don't know emotional intelligence right now. Yeah, so right. and and it's like it don't matter. Yeah, it you don't get what matter. I'm saying. Yeah. So I feel like some some men might jump at that opportunity to have to be the best in the bedroom mm-hmm. and put the emotional intelligence to the side and learn that shit as they go throughout their years. Mm-hmm. Even though they might miss out on a few good women, it's like at least I got this part down. Yeah, because some people might. Get the emotional shit. intelligence and never get the sex part down. Shit, you're right, but hey, I know what you're saying, but I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm giving you another perspective. Uh, yeah, bro. I see the perspective. I feel it. So I mean, it's a good perspective to have. It's low key either way. Yeah, either it's way. like you say, it just depends on what type of person you is. Yeah, for the women too. Yeah, we for just speaking from too. a man's perspective because yeah. we men, we don't know how y'all feel about it. Yeah. But for men, that's how I would feel about it. Yeah, I would pick the emotional intelligence. It's 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 and a it's learn a the sex as I go. It's also a good like thinking point. Like yeah. which one is more important to you at the moment? At the moment, yeah. Because it's like, um, like I said, I wouldn't even judge a person if he picked the sex. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's really oh, it's not as easy as just picking one. It's like you really got to think about both pros and cons to each to situation. Each situation, yeah. So it's like I don't think it's no wrong answer, but I mean, like teach I said, your own. you could be dealing with a girl that got no patience. Exactly. And if you're trying to smash, you don't know nothing. She might leave your ass. Exactly. Right there. So now but, you asked yeah. out. You feel me? What? But I was speaking from the point that this was the one girl I know. that you wanted. So you feel what I'm saying? That was a that was a dirt. I, I like your perspective on that joint for sure. Yeah. Where we at? Thirty. It could go both ways though. Uh, this nigga so ugly, bro. Yeah. Oh my god, this man so ugly. <laughs> Fresh out of- <laughs> oh, uh, this nigga. Yeah, for sure though. You got something else? Nah, nah. I was gonna let you rock. I bet I got a good one. What's that? This one has been waiting for like six episodes. Okay. It's a new thing I want to do. We ain't going to do it every day. It's kind of like we was doing Riddle Me This or Dad Jokes. Mm. Welcome 
to the first annual. Annual? I'm just playing. That ain't make no sense. <laughs> Welcome to the first weekly. weekly. Thoughts on Lacey Spelling Bee. Spelling Bee, bro? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, y'all. See, this boy. See, this what we been trying. What This what I been trying to put on, you know what I'm saying, to have for this man. But this nigga didn't want to do it. It Damn. ain't that he didn't want to do it. We just never made it to it every time, every week. This nigga so, put me on a spelling bee. I'm finna put him on. I'm gonna give the nigga five words. Five, bro. And you get to spell him. You get one chance. If you get it wrong, you don't get another shot. Your okay. ass better spell it. Let's see if he. Let's see how smart he was and how he paid attention to school. Ah, bro, you finna give me some crazy it. shit. It's not too crazy. But you look, look. Let me, let me tell, let me be honest with you, bro. Before we start, look. When you don't, um, here we go. Listen, bro. When you out of school and you're not forced to learn shit, a lot of shit that you remember, it just is what it is. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You talk normally, you know how to pronounce the word, but you really just don't give a fuck about spelling it because it's not. See how he trying to build? He trying to he trying to shoot? He trying to find some way to be like, okay, that was an excuse. That's why that shit don't matter. That's my excuse. You, if you I 20, get it wrong, you're 26. You should know how to spell these words. Okay, come on. First word. <laughs> You ready for this? Oh, ready, bro. The first word. Watch the nigga say super, super Cali. Why first. would I say some stupid shit some like that? Some dumb shit, bro. Let's see if he's smart. The first word in the spelling bee is conceivable. Okay. C-O-N-C-I-V-A-B-L-E. Okay. Yes, sir. Bitch nigga. <laughs> okay. You ready for the second one? Yeah. One. Hey, listen, bro. That's one for a real nigga. And that's zero for a sucker. Because that's what you is, man. Gonna give me this goddamn spelling bee out of nowhere. Archaeology. Archaeology. A R C H E O L O G Y. Okay. Yes, sir. See yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It See, I'm just giving him some chill shit right now. Man, nah, he really tried to I'm bash to, me, bro. Trying to test the water. Nah, he tried to water, bash me, bro. Man. This nigga trying to bash me, bro. Spell claustrophobic. See? C L A U. Claustrophobic. C L A U um S T Hold up. Let me make sure you're spelling it right. Cause okay. I don't think you're spelling it right. Cause this nigga don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Claustrophobic. Claust okay. And see the way you say it? okay, look. Claustrophobic is C L A U S T um C L A U S T Um O <laughs> wrong. What it That's is. wrong. What it is? It's C L A U S T R O P H O B I C. Damn, I forgot about the R. Claustrophobic. Yeah. And that's how I was saying it, but the nigga didn't catch on. So the nigga got it wrong. <laughs> Claustrophobic. Okay. He got it wrong. Okay. You ready to spell another one? That's still 2 1, though, nigga. Yeah, it's still 2 1. Fuck, nigga, but man. But your ass finna say you finna get fucked up? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. This nigga, bro. Go ahead, man. <laughs> nigga, thought. I think believe this dude, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit your ass one next week then. All right, bet. Spell trajectory. 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 Um, T-R-A-J-E-C-T-O-R-Y. Trajectory. Okay. Trajectory. Got it right. That's 3-1. Nigga got it right. That's 3-1. This is the last one. It is, right? Say five yeah, words. I said five. This is the last one. Okay, bet. I'm finna give you the hardest one I can think of. Cause I know your ass. Look how he trying ready. to do me, y'all. Alright, ready. This nigga trying to do me. You ready for this shit? Yeah. Spell super califragilistic SPS. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do you like this that. This man here, bro. Spell amphibian. And what? Amphibian. Okay, A. Um. Hold up, what? Like a like a frog, amphibian. Oh, oh um, A, M, P H. Okay. Mm-hmm. E B I N. Wrong. I A. I mean, I. He got it wrong. What it is? It's A M P H I B I A N. That's what I said. You said E. You said E. That's the first thing you said. Watch when I said E. Watch when I said E. Watch. Oh yeah, I did say. You did say E. Damn, I got it wrong. I said got it wrong. Damn. Amphibian, nigga. Got three out of five. And you made a 60, so you damn near failed. Hey, man. Nigga. Well, I came up, 60 was cool. No, it wasn't. That's (laughs) why you got, no, it wasn't. You can pass with a D. Not in Clark. 
Yep, that's why you didn't do it. It don't matter. Oh, don't break. We good. We good, y'all. All right, anyway, so bro, that's three out of five, bro. Three out of five, nigga, nigga made it. I guess I'm gonna hit this nigga with some good ones the uh, next week. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be studying. See, I ain't even get to study. I didn't get to study neither. Nigga. What you mean you didn't get to study? You know study. now, nigga. You finna study. study. I didn't get it. This nigga got a group of words for a nigga. He talking about I'm finna go pick the craziest words. Them words wasn't even crazy, y'all. Let's be real, bro. The they craziest crazy. word I said was what the one you could, the other one you couldn't spell. The third claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. That's the cla- craziest one I said. Yeah, because I really haven't seen claustrophobic spelt out like. Um, you should have been had to buy another man. I don't like that song, and you know that, bro. So that shit went on my plate. That's so- <laughs> <laughs> all. Nigga hell, bro. That's song actually hard as fuck. And amphibian, I had it. I knew it was I or E, and I picked E first. Am. Amphibian, fear. Yeah. You should have just said I. Mm-hmm. Should have went with your gut. I, I should have went with my gut. Nigga was, nigga was contemplating. I should have made him spell that because I know he can't spell that. I get to him, bro. Spell contemplating. C O N T M. I mean T E M. See, see, I said T M, but I was spelling it too fast. T E M. P L A T I O N. I mean T I N G. Nigga spelled it wrong twice. I'm going fast. That's why, bro. Anyway. You know what it is, nigga. Anyway, dog. You know what it is. All right, I got another little topic. This nigga a chump, bro. Ever since the music game been going crazy with all the rap beef and all the bullshit, mm. music dropping, mm. R&B has been taking a very, very, very fucked up backseat. And I hate it. Because let's be honest, R&B is better than hip hop right now. For the last, since 2020 started, mm-hmm. R&B has been better. So, nigga, just think about some of the albums we got from R&B. We got SZA, SOS, we got Give It Young, Give A Take, we got Wasteland, Bright, uh, Brent Fayez. Anniversary, Bryson Tiller, Party Next Door had dropped um, Party Pack. I think it was 2020 Party Pack or something like that. Yeah, I think it was Party Pack or something. I think that was one. It's like, bro, we've been getting a lot of Snow Allegra. Yeah. Her. Like, everybody has been dropping. Nigga, SZA R- just dropped. I said SZA. Oh, you R. Lennox. R. Lennox. Yeah. R&B has been backseating, and I don't like it. Okay. Breezy still dropping. Come on, bro. Okay, so what's up? What I want you to do right now uh-huh. is name female and male. Give me your three. Women and men. Women and men. Uh-huh. <laughs> Give me your three yeah. underrated R&B artists right now. But see. Your three most underrated. I can say underrated, but I don't know if they underrated because I don't know what the masses know. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So I can just give you three artists that I feel like I don't see a lot of niggas talk about. Okay. But that don't mean they underrated. Just, you know. Just off the strength. Yeah, off the strength. So I'm going to say Daniel Caesar. Mm. I'm going to say, um, who else I'm going to say? Um, you said three females and three, I mean, three I said men? three male and women and men, like, all together. I want to give you three male and then Oh, three men. okay, okay, okay. So, I say Daniel Caesar. Um, Brush, what's, what's Shorty's name? Hold up. Damn, it's on my phone. You talking about Cleo Soul? Yeah, Cleo Soul. That's who you was talking about? Yeah, I'm oh, talking about, that's, okay, that's exactly what I was talking about, okay, Cleo Soul. Um, I got put on that by Amir. Yeah. Um, so, Daniel Caesar, Cleo Soul, and... Let me see, bro. I got to think, man. Mm. I'm thinking, too. I got to think. Oh, you already got some? Mm-mm. Oh, Daniel Caesar, Cleo. So, but I see, that's why I say Daniel Caesar might be. I got one of them, okay. but, like, I don't got a lot of Daniel them. Daniel Caesar, Cleo. So, I, I got it on my phone, bro, on my playlist, but I just can't remember their names. There's so many new artists I got on the playlist. Mm-hmm. Um, Fuck, bro. Shit, I could give you a couple of them. I give you, like, five. Not okay, go. Bruh, Ari Lennox, uh, she's definitely underrated. I don't think she's underrated. I think people know who she is. She underrated, though. Uh, she underrated. Well, I could have said Ari Lennox, but I'm thinking, like, from she the under- masses, so is people, she not underrated? From the masses, people know her work, bro. No, they don't, bro. I think so. Her album just sold, like, 13K. That's oh. underrated, bro. Well, damn. Come on, fam. I ain't know that. That's underrated, bro. The last that. one, the one the one that I liked it. Mm-hmm. The one with um Queen Space on it, Summer Walking. That joint okay. just sold okay. literally fourteen. Name, K. name, name them. Ari Lennox. Um, I'm gonna say Ombre. Uh-huh. You know who that is? Okay, Shorty. She signed to Rock Nation. Okay. She hard. Um, Young Blue is underrated. Oh, Young Blue, underrated. Young Blue is underrated. He from Iowa City. Yeah. He's underrated. 
Cash Page is underrated. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Cleo Soul, Cleo Daniel Soul, Caesar, Daniel Caesar, and y'all finna kill me. Tory Lanez is underrated <laughs> because, bro, alone at prom, bro, is one of the best, not just R and B album, just albums of this decade that came so far. And say, oh yeah, and Saint John. Oh yeah, Saint John. Saint hella John underrated, is underrated. Bro. Saint John, one of the most underrated. Saint that John boy, is probably the best one out of everybody. I just that boy named. got some. Good, Saint John yeah. got three classic albums. No skill. No skill. How do you do that? And no he skills. hasn't dropped since twenty twenty. It's been four years. No skill. Shout out Saint John, bro. Saint John, what you doing, man? Saint Come John on, really man. Playing around. He really he playing. playing. He could be. He could be just as big as all these other people. But it's because he's underrated. But Tory Lanez is also underrated. Yeah. I want to say that on this podcast. Damn, bro. St. John is a great artist, man. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about that shit. Have you, man, see, this nigga next to me did not listen to Alone at Prom. I didn't. That album is literally great. He didn't listen to- I didn't say it wasn't. He didn't listen to Playboy neither. Great. (laughs) Why are you sleeping, bro? Out, bro, I'm not sleeping. I just didn't get around to them albums, bro. So that mean, that literally means you slept. And you didn't wake up. <laughs> That's literally what that means. So <laughs> this man Hill, bro. Anyway, man, man, bro. I just wanted to shed some light on some R and B people because yeah. I feel like that shit is getting on my nerves with all this hip hop shit. Niggas ain't really like tuning in like that. So how do you feel about? Okay, so what what you think is gonna take for the R and B to? Come? I don't know, bro, because SZA is the biggest one right now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like we need more people like her. Mm. R&B needs to be back in the faith forefront because this rap shit is garbage. <laughs> like, if it ain't Future, if it ain't Kendrick, if it ain't Ye, I didn't want to say his name, but if it ain't Ye, if it ain't like those niggas that's already been around, bro, all you, all these new niggas is whack, bro. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, for real, bro. Like, yeah. I don't really like it, bro. Y'all ain't really putting in no work like that, like... When the last time have we got a new album from somebody that hasn't been out for so long that just shook the world? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Somebody who did it for me was Rob. That Rob put out, nine, yeah, he put but out I, two great albums. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, like he's still underrated. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, we haven't had the next Future or the next Drake. Roddy next was supposed Drake. to be him. Roddy was supposed to be him, and I don't fuck with none of you niggas. Because <laughs> that man is literally better than all these new niggas. I ain't trying to hear. Yeah, he may have dropped that mid ass project, but did you listen to Feed the Streets Three? No, you niggas didn't. And that hoe is hard. You niggas didn't listen. They didn't listen. Yeah, I don't want to hear it, bro. Feed Rod- the Streets Three was a Feed the Streets Three is a good project, bro. No skips on that bit. No features neither. Yeah. It, well, he got Ty Dolla Sign and Dirk. That's it. That's like the only man in history that I didn't see. A, the, people switch off so fast. It was like, bro, come on, fam. Cause look, not bro. All your all your favorite people, they didn't drop some bullshit. Come on, yes. man. And Drake, I, I, I'm, and I'm not gonna say that was bullshit. Drake, anyway. Cause remember when I first heard, I said, bro, he got yeah, some good. He songs was like, on that good joint, song, bro. and I was like, nah, I don't really like that. But I get was, what? I was, I was vouching for him. I said I didn't like it, but get what? I didn't switch on him. I still went listen to Feed the Streets Three. Exactly. I still bro. fucked with Feed the Streets Three and the first album. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. That who got an album right now that's better than that first album? That first album was crazy. What album has dropped besides us? Future, Drake, Cole, Kendrick. Besides an album like that, what nigga dropped the album that was better than? Please excuse me for being antisocial. Nobody, because that man shit was that world, bro. And I hate how they switched on that man. They gonna try to come for you in the comments. I don't give boy. a damn, because bro, y'all need to shed light on niggas that actually make good music. Yeah, and not all this bullshit. Like that's all I'm saying. I low key feel what you're saying, bro. Cause um, like Roddy was literally finna be the next joint. You know what they say, man? They say he ain't wear no dress. <laughs> <laughs> that's what niggas saying. Hey, he ain't wear no dress. That's why he ain't hop popping no more. Bro, this man funny as hell, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Man, shout That's out Roddy, man. Shout, shout out, out Roddy, Rich, dog. Shout out Rich. He's rich. That's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you made me forget my no skill. Yeah, I got my no skill. Um, you made me forget it, though. This one gonna be shorter, y'all. You made me forget my no skill. How the fuck did I make you forget? Because we was just talking about all this music, and I had it on the top of my head. I got my no skill. Bro, don't nobody give a damn. This nigga trying to hold his chest out on me, bro. Ain't nobody. It ain't my fault your bad memory ass ain't got it. Hey, man. You lost your memory, nigga. No, no, no. Hold up. Wait. Wait, nigga. Wait. All right. I'm waiting. Wait, young nigga. I'm waiting. 
I should probably go first. Yeah, go first. Speak on it. My No Skip album came out oh, the other day. It. It's called We Still Don't Trust You. Yeah. That's the that's my No Skip. Great ass album, man. It's, and we I finna, be we so, finna do, a, we finna be do so, an album review right after this pod. Right after the pod, we dropping it. Mm-hmm. So That's why we don't want to speak on it too much. Yeah, that's why we haven't even said nothing about the disses. Like My No Skip album would be 1999. Joey. Tight shit. Joey Badass. I was going to say Joey, but he's not an R&B artist. Shed some light on Joey. Yeah, that nigga shed some light on... That shed some, bro, shed some light on Joey. Shed some light on Vince Staples. Mm-hmm. Schoolboy Q. Yeah. Them niggas are the ones that's like dropping high quality music. Yeah. And you niggas ain't listening. Yeah. Y'all ain't tapping in. Something wrong with your shit. <laughs> you ain't tapping in. Bro. He ain't tapping in, bro. But my no skip would be We Still Don't Trust You. 25 tracks and he didn't miss on that bit. Only was, two, only, only, it's only two that I, that I skipped on. He over. didn't like them. I still like them. So that's why he's my The no first skill. two, Drink and Dance and We Still Don't Trust You. Those are the only two songs that I look over. Yeah. The other ones, bro, from, from I like Out of My Hands. Dance. I don't know. I like Drink and Dance. From though. Out of My Hands on down. I like Drink and Dance, though. It's a classic. I just feel like Drink and Dance was a vibe, bro. I don't know. I yeah. like it. I, I like him getting in his his 80s bag. I was going to say, bro, that nigga need to. I'm going to say it for the review. I'm going to say it. Okay, bet. But yeah. But yeah. Um, I know that was a little quick one, but we trying to we got a lot of little other stuff we want to get yes, into today. Sir. So, and guess what, y'all? I'm gonna go and put them on Front Street. Mm-hmm. Um, the man sitting right next to me didn't have any topics, so we didn't do. Yeah, it. I didn't have any topics. Didn't have any man. Topics. I was carrying him once again. He carried me on this one, I'm but still though, me. man, I'm it's always, like I'm always picking up the weight. No, nah, yeah, bro. <laughs> 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 I was just had some. Other, I said I had some other stuff to do. See this. how you stuttering? I am stuttering, but for real though, bro. I feel it, you. The, the topics ain't come to me this week. Yeah, I wasn't focused on them. But with that being said, bro, this is a wrap for episode thirty-eight. Yes, sir. So, bitch, don't try to play me. I'm a thirty-eight baby going gets me. See that? See that? See that? How many of y'all was around for when YB dropped that? Yeah. You niggas listening to this all this new shit? How many of you <laughs> niggas was around when he dropped that thirty-eight baby? None of y'all. Hey, hey, hey. None of you niggas. But hey, if y'all fuck with the content, if y'all like it, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share. Let us know how y'all feel about everything we doing. Yeah, we just we 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 try to expand our video, drop at least four to five a week. Most definitely. So that's 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 coming up. Um, mm-hmm. like I say, be looking forward to new movie reviews, music reviews every week, free game every week. So, so yeah, yeah, that's that's the type of time we on. We trying to expand and expand. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. But until next time, man. Peace, man. Peace. <laughs> Uh-huh.